Well, hail and well met, fellow travelers. Welcome to the Gatehouse for the Gizmonarch Order. I am your Grandmaster. Really appreciate you being here. I have had a lot of requests over the last year or so to do an update for the mods for Battletech, like how to install mods for Battletech now that a year has passed. And there have been some updates to both Battletech and also to Windows that have prevented things from working correctly. So one of the things I want to do is spend a little bit of time here talking about how to get mods, what mods you should get, uh, and then how to install those mods so that you will be able to play Battletech using your mods. So let's jump right in. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate your Battletech install. So if you have already installed Battletech vanilla, you haven't made any updates to it, it'll be located in your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Battletech directory. So what you're going to want to do is copy or move this folder out of program files to somewhere else on your computer. So in this particular case, I just moved it to my C drive. It's in the root directory here. And I just moved everything that was in this Battletech directory under Steam to this outside of program files location. The reason being that the access control will sometimes restrict what can happen and trying to install the mods under program files is not going to work all the time. It does work sometimes but lately it seems to be more restrictive since Windows has been doing some updates. So move that out, and then you're gonna be ready to install your mod. So for installing your mods, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is identify which mod should I install. The first one you're gonna to wanna to get is ModTech. You'll have to go to GitHub, this is a little GitHub symbol here, their logo, and go for look for ModTech. Under ModTech, you're going to see on the right-hand side here, this releases. Go ahead and click Latest, and then download the modtech.zip file. This will give you the latest modtech version for your mods. And this is what you're gonna to wanna to need. There is a version of modtech that was used by Hairbrain Schemes for Battletech, and they included it in Battletech, but it's an older version of modtech, and so the new version allows for some of the newer mods that are coming out, some of the newer flashpoints that are being made, but in general, it's just a lot more solid and a lot more resilient mod tech version than the one that comes with Battletech out of the box. Once you have your mod tech version, you should then start looking at what mods do I want to get? The best place to get mods is still Nexus Mods. It has a lot of the basic mods that you're going to want for quality of life improvements, for your flashpoints, for that kind of stuff. This is where almost all the mods got their start but the more popular mods have moved over to a different site called Mods in Exile, or they have their own sites. And we'll talk about that in a second. Nexus Mods has a really easy search mechanism. So you just don't have to go in, look for Battletech, and it will start displaying all of these mods for you. If you are looking up here though, you'll see that the most downloaded mods are Rogue Tech, which is no longer available on Nexus Mods, the Cab, which is not available on Nexus Mods, BTA 3062, which is not, I mean, you get the idea. A lot of the more popular mods are hosted elsewhere. So I'll talk about those in a second. Nexus Mods is still going to have an awful lot of really good mods that are available. For instance, uh, Vex Clan names or Mortal Pilot Pilots or Quality of Life or Better Travel Times. Some of these mods are only available on Nexus Mods. So do check it out and see if there's any mods here that you want to install. One of the examples that I have is this Battletech 3025 Hyades Rim. This is a set of flashpoints that is a whole campaign that you can play. It does require that you have pretty beefy mechs and pretty beefy lances. So don't do this uh, willy nilly, but definitely if you're interested in a challenge, go for it. The other place to get mods in general is this place called Mods in Exile. Um, here you can see like a Battletech save editor, consistent travel time, uh, the big deal add-on, I'll talk about that later in the video, Battletech Ascended Commander's Edition, all of these things are part of Mods in Exile, and this is where you can find some of the more popular mods that are out there. Uh, for instance, this big deal add-on, it's uh, a campaign, right, consisting of a chain of flashpoints, really cool stuff. You might need some of the DLC in order for some of the flashpoints to look. So look at the instructions, look at the requirements, and it will tell you, oh, you need to have the heavy metal DLC, or you need to have this, so that you understand what's going on. Additionally, 
inside each of the mods is going to be something like this, where it's going to say, hey, look, the order of installation for of all the options. So if you want to install multiple mods, sometimes you may need to install them in a specific order, and the mod will tell you what the order is. So for instance, if you're installing BEC and CAC and TBD, you install it in this order so that it will install properly. That's the version of installs that it's been validated. So if you install it in a different order, it may or may not work. So make sure that you check the instructions for how to install and the order of installation, because that will matter. The one big one here is going to be Battletech Extended Edition. This is the Commander's Edition. This is called Bex, and this is one of the best mods for Battletech that I've ever seen. Um, I love Bex. I play Bex almost exclusively. There are still some quirks with Bex. Things don't quite always work correctly, but in general, it works really, really well. So it's a really good uh, version of the game, and I really highly recommend it. If you are looking at something like Rogue Tech, or Battletech Advanced 3062, you're gonna wanna get that from those respective sites. Rogue Tech actually is available on Mods and Exile. You just have to come down here, get the Rogue Launcher. It will install Rogue Tech for you through its installer process. I warn you, Rogue Tech is a complete overhaul of Battletech. It is a full-on simulation with all the bells and whistles. If you want to act like you are actually running a mercenary company in 3040, Rogue Tech is the thing for you. So uh, you can install it. You can check out more about Rogue Tech at the wiki here. And it will tell you, a, you can check out more at the wiki here and it will tell you all about Rogue Tech and all about how they've made the decisions that they've made. If you are looking for something sort of in between a full mod, like a full new game and say Bex, Battletech Advanced 3062 is also probably for you. If you are looking for something that's not a full like revamp like Rogue Tech is, and you want something more than what Bex can provide, then BTA 3062 is probably for you. This is a total revamp of the game in the same way that Rogue Tech is, but it's not as involved as Rogue Tech is. If you're looking at Rogue Tech as a pure simulation, BTA is mostly simulation. Bex is a simulation. But the other ones are much deeper, much more involved, much more engaged in like the actual if you were living there kind of things. So BTA is a good middle ground between Rogue Tech and Bex. Uh, if you're just looking for I want to play with some mods and I want to do some cool stuff, I would stick with Bex. You want to get deeper into the lore, deeper into the me mechanics of running a mercenary company, then BTA and Rogue Tech are the way to go. Now that you have downloaded the mods that you want and you've put them into a folder in your downloads, which is what I recommend, you can see here I have downloads and I've made 2023 BTEC downloads. So as of January 2023, this is the best way that I've found to mod your Battletech game so that you can play mods. The first thing you need to do is install ModTech. So just simply unpack ModTech uh, and then go into the folder and then drag that to your Battletech folder and copy here. And I've already installed it once, so it has to replace files. That's okay. If you get replace files, do, because uh, ModTech does have newer versions of some of the files that you're going to need. All right. The next thing would be, say, installing Bex, which is what I'm going to do here. So in this case, I've got Battletech Ascended Commander's Edition, and I'm going to dump that into my mods folder. Now, this does take some time because it has to copy a whole bunch of stuff over. Um, so we'll be back in a second, and I'll explain how to do the rest of your mods. All right. And just wrapping up. And again, Sometimes you have other files already there. Just click replace. I'm also going to install the extended bigger drops patch. And this is going to let me get a secondary lance to bring along on some of my missions. So again, it's sort of expanding the gameplay to allow me to have more than four mechs. So I'll just go ahead and copy that guy into my mods folder here. And then it goes and does that. And we're all good. Now, the last thing I'm going to install on this particular install is the community asset bundle. So I've already opened that up. I think it's a RAR file when you get it. You just simply unpack it and you get this installer. Go ahead and double click the installer. And then you'll get this screen along with this location. So this is saying, hey, look, your install target right now is in program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Battletech mods. But that's not where we're going to install it, right? Right. We're going to install it into where we've moved our Battletech folder to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click Advanced Mode. I'm going to click New Target. And then I'm just going to go to C, 
Battletech, Mods, and click Select Folder, and then Update Cab. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, uh, it has to download a whole bunch of stuff from the net, so it's going to take a long time to do it. Uh, I've already done that recently, so I have all of the downloads to my computer, and now it's just doing a couple of updates before it installs and moves everything over to the mods folder. The download, though, may take quite some time, like 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your connection speed. So definitely go grab a cuppa or go watch a movie or something while this is happening in the background. It will take a lot of time, just be aware. Once this is installed, you can go ahead and close this guy. And now you're ready to launch Battletech. Now what I'm doing here is this Battletech launcher seems to catch a lot of problems on that first time launch when you have just installed all the mods. So I recommend using that rather than just launching Battletech.exe. And I would probably drag a shortcut out to your desktop so you can just launch this when you're ready. But I'll just go ahead and launch it. Here comes at the launcher and you can hit play. It's gonna take some time to load up. It's gonna skip the intro with all the cinematics and stuff but it does have to load up a whole bunch of stuff in the background. So this does take a substantially long period of time, a couple of minutes, even on really fast processors and hard drives. It can take quite some time to load all of that data. There's gigabytes of data that it has to load in order to be able to play the game properly with the mods you've selected. So here you can see we've got everything running. It says it's the Battletech Extended Commanders Edition. Thumbs up. We've got our three flash points installed. Um, we can click into here to mods and it will tell us all the mods that loaded as well as ones that didn't for whatever reason. So for instance, up here, I noticed that uh, cab tanks failed to load. I need to go figure out what's going on with that, but this will get you started. The one thing that's really important to remember is that if it doesn't have this, if you're installing Bex and it doesn't have this or it doesn't say Rogue Tech or BTA 3062, you probably haven't installed things properly. The real keys that I think are important to remember in moving your Battletech out of your programs files, making sure that you're doing things in the right order for your, for your mod installs, and then double checking and making sure that when you're launching, you're using the launcher, not just simply launching Battletech. I have seen Battletech fail where the launcher will launch and then succeed. So I recommend highly using the launcher just to make sure everything is working correctly. So I hope that's really gonna help get you guys going with mods and Battletech. I am gonna make sure to drop all of the links in the description below, so make sure to check that out. That'll hopefully get you started. Uh, if you have any questions, you have any problems, please just drop a comment below. More than willing to help you out as much as I can. Hope you have fun playing Battletech. I have loved this game. I've put more than a thousand hours into this. Um, I really, truly enjoy it. And uh, I hope that you will too. I hope that you're able to be successful with this. I think Battletech mods really enhance the game. There's so much creativity out there and there's so many new thoughts about uh, campaigns and improvements and quality of life and stuff that just really make the game a lot more enjoyable and playable. And I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun with your modded Battletech. Good luck and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.